Hey, what's going on, man? This is Tyler and welcome back into the channel. Hope you're having a great day. Wanted to jump on here real quick and let you guys know that I have launched a brand new series here on the YouTube channel. Uh, it's something we've been doing over on iTunes and Apple Podcasts and pretty much wherever you're getting the podcast from. Uh, you'll hear little snippets of episodes, if you will, like uh, eight minutes or 10 minutes long to where I just kind of talk about what's on my mind. So we're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to do it over here on the YouTube channel. Uh, something that's, you know, real quick, short, maybe get you thinking about something, maybe get you to leave a comment or ask a question, something like that. I want to engage my audience with this series. Uh, so we're going to call it. Let's talk about it. Um, if you have questions or something like that, that you want to hear me talk about or hear me kind of put my spin on, um, I'm definitely I'm all ears. Let me know. Um, it's something that uh, I've been thinking about doing, bringing it over to the YouTube channel. So this is kind of the first episode of that new series. Um, if you guys have been paying attention to uh, the podcast, you know, recently um, I had a chance to sit down and talk with Valerie Austin. Uh, she's got a brand new book that's coming out. I'm pretty sure it launches March 17th. It goes public. Um, if you're lucky enough, uh, like me, and you were able to get your uh, get your own copy of it, um, I I read it when I got the digital copy, just like you guys were doing um, down in the links. Uh, some of the podcasts that I was doing, some of the episodes I had, there was a link down there for your free um, digital version. You can have it on your phone or have it on your computer, um, but. I was able to get my uh, my very own copy, uh, as you can see, uh, Confident, Calm and Clutch. Uh, Valerie was able to send it. Uh, I bought it. She didn't she didn't give it to me. I, I bought it as well because I wanted to support her as an author. Um, and I bought uh, the previous version uh, of the book that went out. I think it was a year or two ago. Um, and then also the journal as well. So I started working on the journal this week and I'm going to kind of chronicle that a little bit. Uh, for you guys with this series as well. So um, I kind of wanted to talk about the book and how it's impacted me. Um, and you guys know me, man. I talk about goals. I talk about short-term goals and, and long-term goals and trying to help our athletes identify uh, some of their struggles um, that they're dealing with mentally so that they understand, hey, you know, it's normal to, to feel the way that you feel. Um, and there's not... There's not a whole lot of difference in between um, what the female and male athletes feel when it comes to the athletic side. But when we're talking about different hormones and we're talking about puberty, we're talking about growing up, um, the way we coach athletes is completely different from the female to the male side. So that's kind of where it, it splits off. So when I went through the book the first time with the, the digital copy that I had, I was kind of reading it through my daughter's eyes, like through through their lens, if you will. Um, and I was trying to to see, OK, how could whatever I'm reading, uh, whatever I'm going through, if I could think of a scenario that would fit, uh, a scenario that would work um, with something that we've talked about or something that she may have gone through. And you guys know I have three daughters. So, I mean, they're all their own, you know, persons and uh, they deal with their 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 struggles and their successes. And, and um, me and my wife, we do um, a lot of the, you know, one day, one of them will be in a good mood and the next day uh, she won't be. And I'm sure you guys deal with the same stuff. So when I was reading through it, um, I was kind of putting myself in their shoes and how I would approach the next time we had a conversation or if there's been something recent and we would talk about it. Um, the book isn't very long uh, and um, it, it's about 100 pages. Um, and then there, there's a couple of different sections in there. I think it's a total of seven chapters. But each chapter is sort of like a step to understanding what you're going through. And one thing that I that I learned uh, going through this book um, when I read it the second time, when I actually got my my paper copy, um, is we're never going to be like 100 percent mentally strong where nothing's going to affect us. We're always going to have to continue to battle. We're always going to have to continue to stay up on the positive side um, with me. I was an athlete. I wasn't very good as an athlete. Um, I wrestled and went to the Marine Corps. I got out of the Marine Corps and, you know, I dealt with that, the military side of that. And if you listen to the podcast, I kind of go into that a little bit uh, with Valerie. We talk about different things. If you know Valerie's background, she uh, works with the Army, works with the military and their spouses and, and their dependents of kind of helping them through their, their mental process. And, and that's, you know, it's different for everybody. And, and at the end of the day, 
um, when you're talking with athletes is a little bit different than talking to a parent or if it's, it's a little bit different than talking to a child that maybe that's not an athlete. So it's not just like a one size fits all and like, hey, you're cured and you, you're good. You, you have mental toughness. I mean, what what is mental toughness? You know, the, the ability to, to persevere through anything and not let it affect you. Well, that's crazy because it, it affects you some way, no matter what. And what this book sort of taught me in talking with her was it's OK to feel the emotion that you feel. It, they're natural. They're real. They, they are. They're your feelings. So don't be ashamed of if something makes you mad or if something makes you angry or if something makes you happy. You know, have those be confident in those feelings and, and learn from those feelings. And that's one thing that I, I, I could tell that I grew um, not only as a, as a coach and a, as an instructor, uh, but I grew as a husband and I grew as a father because of this book. So whether your kids have already moved out of the house and, you know, you're going, uh, you're, you're retiring and, and you're a grandparent and, and, and whatever, uh, this book is for you. Um, if you have, you know, a five or six year old and we're starting athletics and we're, you know, we're getting into something, maybe it's dance or gymnastics or soccer or something like that. This book is for you. If you're that 13, 14 year old, you know, athlete, um, this book is for you. If you're that parent that's sending a kid off to college here, um, this fall, this book is for you. There is something that you will get out of this book. And there's a little piece in this book that I did want to read and just take one little, one little nugget from it, if you will, to, to show you just what's in this book. Um, and I mean, it, you could flip open like, like me, for instance, I can just grab this book. And if I don't go to the page that, that I was, that I was reading, I would just open it up and I would see something that I had either was going to read or I had already read and I was going back through it. But there's a there's one thing in particular that I, I definitely want to get out so that you can hear where Valerie is coming from and hear her why. So. It's it's just three it's three paragraphs. Life is rarely perfect and sometimes it's wildly chaotic. Life is always beautiful. Being mentally tough will help you remember that. Remember that the dark times and good. Practicing these skills will strengthen your ability to bounce back from the curveballs that life and your sport can throw your way. Keep these tools in mind and apply them to all areas of your life. Changing your thinking and behavior will strengthen your relationships with others, with yourself, and with the world around you. So I took that and you can apply it to anywhere. Whether you're a CPA, you're a nurse, you're a doctor, you're a lawyer, you're a teacher, um, you're a hitting instructor, you're a podcast host, you're a content creator, you're a little league coach. If you read this book, you will get something out of it. And if nothing more, it will open your eyes to something or it will kind of connect some dots for you. And then all of a sudden, things become a little bit more clear. You can understand why the, why this athlete is frustrated or why this patient is frustrated. You know, you, you can kind of not necessarily predict, but you can sort of lead the conversation into asking the right questions to get to the root causes of maybe some heartache or maybe some pain or maybe something that somebody's going through. So, man, I don't want to take up too much more of your time, but I definitely wanted to jump on here and, and let you know, get your copy. It, it's going to be out on Amazon. I'm pretty sure it's the 17th. So, by the time some of you guys are seeing this, it's not quite out yet, but there will be the digital link below where we can get your digital copy of it. Uh, check out Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can pre-order it uh, through Amazon. I just I don't know how soon it'll go out, um, but check this book out. Confident, Calm and Clutch. I'm telling you right now, you're going to figure out how to build confidence and mental toughness in young athletes using sports psychology. I'm telling you, it's going to change your life and you could probably get it read in about a day or two because you're not going to be able to put it down. So that's it for this one. Appreciate you guys tuning into this one, clicking on it. It's awesome. Don't forget about the brand new series. This is the very first episode of that. Uh, it's, let's talk about it. Um, leave a, a comment down below and let me know, hey, what's your thoughts on this? Or can you talk about this? Or can you, can you let us know about this? You know, ask the questions. I love answering these type of questions. And um, if I don't have the answer to your question, I will figure out 
who I need to talk to to answer your question. So I love doing that kind of stuff. Appreciate all the support. We are approaching, uh, right now we're approaching about 4,000 subscribers. We have shot up within the last two two weeks. Uh, we've gone, I mean, we, we've we've pushing the, uh, pushing the envelope um, as far as uh, getting the content stuff out there. Podcasts are still churning out over there on Apple and on uh, iTunes and Google and Spotify and iHeart and all that stuff. Make sure you're checking those out. The uh, Let's Talk About It will be something that we do here on YouTube and a lot of the same content with a little bit more, a uh, little wrinkle to it over there on the podcast side. So do me a favor, hit that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. Really helps out the algorithm for me. Uh, let's YouTube know like, hey, uh, his stuff is is good for me to watch. You know, put, put it out there for somebody else. If you do like it a lot, make sure you send it to a friend. And when you do, you tell them you love them.